And Monica, when did you first feel the compulsion to write? When my son was a little baby, he would wake up in the middle of the night and I couldn't get back to sleep. Once I got him back down, I started going onto my computer and writing short stories. As a child or at school, had you been particularly great at writing? I wrote quite a lot of stories as a child, but I was a huge reader as a kid. I always had my head in a book walking down the street. One of my great loves as a kid was Jane Austen. Her observations are so sharp that, yeah, I think she turned me into a serious reader. And that's what you need to be if you're you know, ever going to become a writer, I think. Your novel, Brick Lane, uh, ran into some controversy because you depicted the life of a community that hadn't really been depicted in an English uh, novel. What gave you the strength to sort of power through it and keep on going with your writing? In the end, if you're really engaged with the work and you've got something that you want to say, no matter what else is going on, you're just going to carry on with your work. your relationship with MS as a child? Was it a shop that your family frequented? Yeah, it was. Um, I mean, everybody shops at MS, I think. The job of a novelist in the past wouldn't really have required very much sort of public exposure. But nowadays, you know, there's a lot more publicity tours and readings. And how much does what you wear and how you present yourself come into play? Sometimes I don't pay any attention to what I wear and sometimes, of course, I do. It's a bit like writing as well, you know, what you say is important, but also how you say it. So it's um, Mark Twain, he said that clothes maketh the man, or the woman in this case. Uh, naked people have little, if any, influence in society. <laughs> <laughs> clothes do matter. said, I will not marry and be sent far away. But our father chose me an educated man, living abroad. My sister would stay, I would go. If Allah wanted us to ask questions, he would have made us men. In London's Brick Lane. Look at this beautiful building. Far away from home. One sister's letters. Who is your sister falling in love with today? <laughs> will inspire the other. This time, I am sure it is right. Some of the women, they're sewing at home. Jeans, 42 pairs. Overwhelmed by desire, in pursuit of inner strength, Nazneen discovers herself. Your mother and I have decided that we as a family will return home. There are certain things a wife does not want her husband to know. So what about me? Who the girl thing? Go from the village. All these letters hearing what your sister had to say. Maybe I should have been asking what you are writing to her. Give me my letter. And in all my life, I have never heard you say what you want. You could stay. He could go. You're coming home. Oh. Brick Lane.